Welcome everyone for another commentary or rather another race week from the GTA guys. We will have 12 cars for this double header of a race. I would say race weekend, but it's in the middle of the week. And we are jumping right into qualifying. Free practice was interesting. Saw some very, very banger lap times. Ones that I would never imagine being able to do. So let's just look over who we have here. We have Longi, we have SMCA, Reaper, Little Force, Hagi, Gun, Smith, Speed Racer, Stevon, Atonic, and Twisted Wine. All of these names are already somewhat familiar to some of you out there who's been following the channel for a while now. If not, welcome aboard. I like to do some commentary whenever I can. I'm not really the best at it. I don't claim to be, but hopefully you guys who watch this will find some enjoyment in it. So let's jump on board with Longy here. He's about to start his first flying lap. We have DRS zones on this circuit as well. So, going through the start finish straight already a 120.9 on mediums. Sorry, softs. I still have to adjust myself to the tire walls because normally you would think, oh yeah, yellows are the mediums. Well, Mm, technically and not in this case they are the soft and the red tire was all the super soft I mean by the white tire was all the mediums and we do have hard as well but seeing the race distance which is about to be 15 laps I'm not sure especially since we won't have Mandatory pit stop. I'm not sure if anyone will try to do the hards. I think most of us will end up either on softs or on mediums. So Steven already did, already did a 119.6. That is the current lap time to beat, and everyone else behind him are falling down a bit. Long and going through the final corner. Opening the DRS probably does a 121 2 that's good enough to stay in P2. The YSFC had a trouble somewhere on the circuit and went back. He had heaps of trouble in qualifying, sorry, uh, in free practice. Put it that way, Steven was able to do a 120 on mediums and SFC wasn't even able to get close on super softs. Ooh, Longy goes up there a bit. Ooh, thankfully jumps back into pit lane as soon as possible. A lot of guys are switching tires. And Huggy and Reaper having some trouble on the circuit. Huggy from the looks of it tries to stay on the circuit there. Not for long. Oh, Smith having a trouble there, yep, that's gonna be a place where a lot of guys will have trouble because of circuit there, probably gonna go back into the pit soon. Let's stay on board with Tobias here. This is the trickiest part of the circuit without a doubt. seen plenty of different lines that can be taken there. Some prefer the inside line and the staying close to the to the curves on the inside. Some prefer an outline. Little force is off there in turn one.
going back to Tobias here. 3 and 3.4 seconds off there in that sector. This corner combo right here was also a place where a lot of trouble happened in free practice and unfortunately Tobias is proving it. You might twist and wine is proving why <laughs> the first bank to corner is one of the trickiest parts of the circuit. If the cars look a bit weird going through the corners, that's just my connection to the server, don't worry about that. Uh, connection doesn't affect this though, so they are actually go off circuit, but if they do take a weird line through corners, that's mainly because I have about a consistent 360 milliseconds of ping to the server. So that's almost 4 seconds of delay. I believe. Then again, don't quote me on that. I didn't have sleep in the past almost 24 hours. So, yeah. Um, going through the final corner, Etanik comes around. Currently, it's P4 at 121.3. Let's have some detail on the screen, shall we? So in fourth gear, down into third, and down to about 130, 140 kilometers per second. Sorry, kilometers per hour. That would be really fast. Kilometers per second. We wouldn't really talk about F2. Staying smooth on the throttle then. Uh, going a bit wide there, in third gear. There's some traffic ahead. That's... That's probably either Reaper or Longy. Oh, and he goes off track there, that's unfortunately a lap time that will not count. Alright, let's look at Gun a bit. We haven't, haven't checked him out yet. His lap time, his best lap time in this session currently is a 121.3. Question is, will he be able to improve on that? Sticking to the left before switching. Sorry, sticking to the right before switching to the left. That's a line I haven't seen before the chicane yet. Not going that close to the wall, but probably for the best. This lap time wasn't good, wasn't good enough to improve. Either that or my timing screen once again doesn't really want to work. In the meantime, Little Force does a 121.172. That's 1.8 seconds off pace from Stevens 119.3, and that is good enough for him to be in P3. As things are currently. Going through the second DRS zone. With gun. Breaking between the 50 and 100 meter boards. Staying in second gear for the exit. Breaking just after the 50 meter board. Very brave. 
And you can actually open the DRS in this corner, but I believe not many will try to do that during the race itself. In qualifying, maybe. But for the race itself, I'm not sure. Gun stays in 6th place for the time being. We have 3 minutes left from this session. Currently, Steven still has the best lap. And he has about 1 second of lead over everyone else. But that's the minimum he has over. Once again, from the looks of it, I've been watching this guy's race in many different categories. But the top four, or rather the top six, was always really, really close to each other. And this is not different here either. As Gun comes around in the final corner, a bit closer to the wall this time around, but cannot improve. He stays P6, he has to stay out, otherwise he won't really have a chance to improve, but from the left of it, not many tries the super soft so that's a big shunt into the wall. Now that would have been an uh, opportunity to switch to the super softs when going back to the pits and probably will try to do that now. If he goes out on track he might be able to do a lap now on super softs. And speaking of super softs, SMC tries them out now. SMC currently P4. Almost 2 seconds off pace from Stevon. And from the looks of it, Anthony just improves the lap time enough to stay in P4! Wow, what an improvement with lap times! Look at that! He almost gives one tenth of a second to SMC. While staying on the soft tires. Let's jump on board with Steven. Okay, like... <laughs> timer doesn't really want to update for Steven, unfortunately. On my end. So let's have a look around some of the other guys here. Oh, SMC has some trouble in the final sector there. Approaching the final corner. Staying high, getting really close to the wall there. Has to turn a bit to the right. And he goes up to P5. He stays P5. For a second I thought he would be P3, but nope. And qualifying is over. Time run out. Atonic, SMC, and Twist and Vine are the only three who can improve. SMC bails out of it. He doesn't want to give it another shot. Meanwhile, Twist and Vine has an opportunity here, but he cannot improve. He stays P8. Atonic is the last one who can do a lap now. 8 tenths off there, but that might be still a good lap. He's on soft tires, but he already proven it that he can be fast on those. Unfortunately, he slides out there a bit. Sector time is of 54 here to beat. That's gonna be 1 and the 4... 1.4 seconds off there, unfortunately. And now... It's gonna be really hard for him to improve. And unfortunately, he will not be able to. Press it. What the hell, a jump? 
Oh, did I not press the steering wheel? Ah. Oh, did you? I don't know. It's all right. It's coming. I'm sure it's going to come. Alright, and they are off. Sorry for the late. <laughs> Start with my commentary, but my wheel started to shake as soon as the car went back into the. Back into the pits. But they are off and Steven already in the lead with three seconds. Not three seconds, three tenths of a lead. Let's watch his perspective for a bit. Longy keeps the distance. And from the looks of it, everyone goes through the first lap without trouble. DRS already open. In the final corner, Longy might be close enough. Ooh, that's gonna be. Yep, there's a lock up. And from the looks of it, people are doing a soft and medium. Time compound for this race. Steven favoriting the soft while Longy is on the mediums, just making sure. That those tires can last will be the name of the game. In my Atonic is now in trouble. There's two cars behind him. And there's one who pulled off there. That's Longy. Longy had awful luck there. And from the looks of it, this is the closest part here on the circuit. Now Atonic now up into P3. Longy somehow made a mistake just when I switched off to watch at the next perspective. Oh, and since he gets tagged, both him and Gun are off circuit. And Longy once again has a spin as well in the chicane. Oh, it's all kinging off in the second lap. In my twisted wine is far back behind everyone. Not sure what happened there. Maybe he had a spin or something as well. On board with Smith in P5. He's about nine and a half seconds off from the leaders. Oh, just behind him. Oh, it's all kicking off. Huggy and Reaper having trouble. And Steven is off as well. The leader makes a mistake. We are only on lap three. And almost everyone from the, from the field made mistakes. Alright, from the looks of it, people are calling out a safety car. Because this is not natural pace. So let's do a countdown. From the first three laps, we have the somewhat common collected opening lap. And two very, very drama field laps that followed that. From the leaders to the last place, almost everyone made a mistake on this circuit. Thankfully, we don't have damage turned on, which means no mechanical damage or flat spots are expected. And for some reason, my car is still in gear there. Not sure why. <laughs> Maybe if I turn on the wheel, it goes away. So, let's just check it real quick. 
yeah, that fixed it. All right, so. Never had this trouble before, but. Hey. You live and learn. Lab 4 is going to be a common collected lab from the looks of it. Everyone stays pretty clear of it. Let's listen to the radio. Maybe there's something we can hear. Oh! Never mind! We are doing the restart right now. Pretty dangerous part to do the restart, if you ask me. But Steven gives the lead and there's a call off track! That's little falls going off! Wow! <laughs> Didn't see anyone making contact with him. So it might have been just a mistake on its own. On board with Twist and Wired and the teammates in front are going at each other in the chicken one of them locked up i'm going to say teammates because they are both using the same scheme well, same sponsors and all that stuff but that was a very ambitious overtake attempt there oh lock ups in turn one smc and from the looks of it, Smith. The teammates are going side by side once again. And there's a car off track there. That's Smith. And also Hagi has some trouble at the back as well. Didn't see anyone getting involved in both cases. So it's most likely going to be a mistake that they did on their own. Smith once again having terrible luck in a race but one who doesn't have to mention terrible luck so far is Nick he might obviously lose his two places somehow I think I don't think there was a mistake involved in that but Anthony currently is P2 not only he made an amazing job in qualifying, he managed to stay out of trouble so far in the race. And he is now in a podium place, not far from the leader. Meanwhile, the teammates are going side by side once again. Heading into the first corner, Longi on the outside, goes up to P5. And they are giving every everything they got. Everything they can pull off. Toby I had a troublesome moment there. Etonic is dropping a bit, he's about 2 seconds off from Steve Warren, but that is still pretty good if you ask me. The question is, will he be able to keep this place? He has some big names behind him, some very 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 fast guys. If I Hagi had a trouble at the back. Don't think anyone was involved in that. On board with SMC, this looks like an opportunity for an overtake, he goes for the inside. Speed racer on the outside. They were going to be side by side in the fourth corner and this will carry on to the second corner and apparently it end up here. No, it carries over to the third corner. And now Speed Racer jumps down and there comes one of the white and blue cars. Longy couldn't do the overtake, but now there's gun behind him. These two are battling almost constantly. There are obviously no team orders here, but there's a troublesome moment from gun. 
A mistake on its own, but that's not a mistake on its own. He tried to keep the place there. Oh, there's also trouble from Twisted Wine. Steven still has the lead, which now goes up into 3 and 3.8 seconds over Atonic. Lap 8 out of 15. And from the looks of it, the softs are working. The only car in the top 5 that is on mediums is Longy. And he has to constantly fight with everyone around him. He has two cars inside. Both SMC and Atanik are within, let's just say, target range. Wow, that, that was a weird sound from the card. <laughs> Never heard that before. <laughs> Alright, so SMC in front. Who is targeting Atanik. There was a bit of a correction from SMC there. But heading into the chicken, Longy is getting closer and closer. He smells that podium place and he wants it. Opening the DRS. Let's see if he can get close enough. Atonic did a 122. SMC did a 122, but Longy did a 121 on a harder tire compound. Maybe that will be the key to get the place here. Once again, ignore the flying cars that just my connection to the server. Smith in the background has a trouble somewhere. That's the final corner on the track. My guess would be that he opened the DRS and uh, lost the rear of the car. Atonic might be liking what happens behind him, might not like it, but if SMC and Longy will be fighting for a place long enough, then Atonic might be able to get away from them. But from the looks of it, SMC is getting closer and closer to Atonic. Within attack range now, goes for the inside. Both of them did a 122. Atonic on the outside, keeps the place, SMC bails out of it, but now it's going to be a 3-way fight for P2. Here comes Longy on the outside, next to SMC, both of them side by side behind Atonic, and what's gonna happen now? Whoa! <laughs> oh, Longy! What an overtake! I'm losing my <laughs> mind here. What can some of you pull off here? Tobias had trouble back there in the first sector. All right, on board with Longi. Let's get some graphs on. For the final two corners on this lap. It's getting close enough. He might be able to go for a move here. Reaching speeds of 300 km per hour. Staying on the inside, Atanik on the outside. Tobias had some trouble at the back, but we won't want to focus on that. 
Longer stays on, on the high line, goes down <coughs> to the inside. Tries to have a look. That's pretty close there, pretty dangerous as well. He bails out of it. Probably a smart move. He managed to pull that move off on SMC. But that one is very tricky. I don't think he would want to do that back to back. Going through the DRS zone. Pretty respectful on the braking zone. Stays close enough. To be in attack range, but has a little bit of a twitch there. A bit of a core action, and that is enough for Atonic to gain a bit of a gap on him. Both of them do a 122. In fact, both Atonic, Longy, and SMC do a 122. So the pace is about the same there. All of them are in good shape here. Bit of a slide there once again from Longy. He manages to correct it. Atonic is far behind them now. Sorry, SMC is far behind. <laughs> but we could say that Atonic is far behind Steve but it's understandable because he's been doing an amazing job holding P2 in this race. Once again, both of them are respectful on the braking zone. But Longy gets a better run out of the chicane. Longy stays low and then goes high for the exit. Gets closer and closer, but not sure if he will go for a move there. He has a look, and that only locks up, but that is not enough for Longy to be able to attack. We have three more laps to fight. In the meantime, there's a battle at the back as well. Reaper just overtook Tobias. Tobias has a little bit of a lock up there. He might be able to do some fighting as well. Jumping back to Longi. This is from Podium Place. In the meanwhile, Twisted Vine has some trouble in the first sector. Thankfully no one is around. Longi is getting closer and closer and there is a car in front of them. Oh, Atonic! Goes off! Locked up! Curve went over the curbs! And despite his best effort, he couldn't hold on to P2. Not all is lost. Because the car in front of them is Smith, they are already starting to lap the field, which might be in favor of one of them. Oh, in the meantime, Little Force goes back to the pits, I'm not sure what happened there. But that will put him, put him down one lap, because that lap doesn't really count the way AC works if you go back to the pits your current lap will be strapped so on board with SMC now who is looking to get the final place on the podium Tobias and Reaper in the meantime going side by side in the first sector and Tobias bells out for the time being 
In my Steam All Stars, the final lap of the race. Atonic might have lost P2, but he still has a chance for the final place on the podium. SMC might have made mistakes in this race. Might have been collected or punted in this race. But in this lap, his chances are still there for a podium. Shifting down to second gear, sticking close to the inside there, getting a good exit out of it, being cautious on the throttle. First DRS zone. Done. Atony gets a bit close to the inside, they might have been a bit defensive and that might be a troublesome decision. Here it comes, the final corner! This is what's gonna matter! Longy crosses the line, P2. And Atonic finishes P3! SMCP for Gun 5th. Speed Racer 6th. And now the rest of the field is getting to the finish line as well. Twisted Vine P7, if he doesn't make a mistake. SR Reaper 8, Tobias 9th. And Hagi finishes the top 10. Oh, a bit of a lockup in front! From Reaper. Tobias might have a chance here still. Close, but not enough. They will go side by side, but Tobias P9 and Reaper P8.